Footage you're looking at was shot above part of the Yangtze River in East China's Jiangsu Province. The video clearly shows smog in the air above the river. The video was shot by Sun Guoqing, a deputy who is currently attending China's annual legislative sessions, also known as the Two Sessions. Environmental issues, including air pollution, are being discussed at the sessions. I just saw the footage and it shows that even above the river, the pollution is serious. Cutting energy intensity, or units of energy consumed per unit of GDP, was listed as a major development goal in an annual government work report delivered by Premier Li Keqiang on Thursday. The government plans to lower energy intensity by 3.1 percent this year, lower than last year's 3.9 percent goal. Li added that the government will continue to try to reduce emissions of major pollutants and promote clean energy. He said China will put great weight behind the development of wind, solar and biomass energy, work actively to develop hydropower, and stress safety in developing nuclear power, as well as exploit shale and coal seam gas. Factories across China are already taking action. Liang Rui Suo used to own a stone processing factory for construction use in North China's Hebei province. The factory was shut down in fall last year due to the amount of emissions it put out. The local government is making efforts to phase out factories that create large amounts of pollution. Liang subsequently returned to his hometown, the village of Daliang Jiang. He's decided to dive into the growing ecological tourism industry. We need to inherit what has been passed down from our ancestors. That's why I came back to work in ecological tourism and protect historical buildings. This year is the last year for the government to meet pollution reduction targets that were set in the country's 12th five-year national development plan. Many industries are seeing upgrades or shutdowns to help meet these goals, which include reducing energy intensity by 16 percent and reducing carbon dioxide emissions per unit of GDP by 17 percent.